I'm Amy Shannon, and I'm author of the latest book that I've written, um, Bell's Town Community of History, Friends, Neighborhood, and Neighborhood Experience. Um, I um, am having an event at the Real McCoy Beer Company in uh, Balsam Spa. It's on Washington Street, and it's in the, um, the landmark house of General Avenue Doubleday. Um, even though the landmark is incorrect in its wording, um, anyways, it, it does belong to him. It's just that Abner Doubleday did not invent baseball. Um, anyway, that's one of the many rumors that I have debunked in my book. I wanted to kind of go over my book um, a little bit, you know, explain um, my thinking on it. Um, First, uh, the, the event will be April 20th uh, at 1.30 and um, at the room, as I said, the Real McCoy uh, Beer Company, um, 28 Washington Street in Belson Spa. Um, I hope to see you there. If you are uh, someone from out of the area, you don't live around here, you buy a book and you uh, would like to have your book signed or you would like to get a, an official sticker of uh, my signature, um, you can let me know. You can email me at writeremishannon at gmail.com, and I would be happy to um, send you a sticker with my signature, or um, we can discuss you sending me um, a copy of the book that you purchased. I can sign it and then send it back to you. There's some more details on my website, and um, I have a bunch of posts on my Facebook page. Um, anyway, um, in writing this book, it, I was writing the book uh, that I wrote, The Forsaken. It's a paranormal book and short story, and it was the first book that I ever wrote that took place in, actually, in Wilson Spa. Um, I've written other books before, not, um, mostly all fiction, drama, you know, crime, families, sagas. A, a mix of multiple genres, different various characters. Um, so this uh, nonfiction book is something very new to me. The only other nonfiction book I ever put together was a book for writers um, or for people who do teach writing and learn more about writing or perfecting their skills. Um, I think as writers, we, we all want to do that. When I was writing The Forsaken, I um, did a lot of research. My main character, Dorothy, shout out to Late Brain, um, and is the main character. And um, she is also a historian. So I wanted to make sure that the history of Boston Spa, um, you know, kind of had a play into it. Um, some things I embellished or I made up some names. The story is not true um, that I know of. <laughs> right from here. Um, and it inspired me to do a lot of, uh, I did so much research. I was like, what am I going to do with the rest of this stuff? And I was so intrigued that I, after I finished the story and I started going back over my research and I figured out how to create this book and I created it in a way that I didn't want it to read like a textbook. Um, and you know, um, there are a lot of books that have been written about Boston Spa, Saratoga Springs, surrounding areas. Um, my book will cover the um, the beginning of you know when people started coming here that um, and kind of taking over land that once once belonged to the um, Native Americans. Um, I don't pull any punches. I don't. Um, if I could confirm something, I made sure that I could confirm it several different ways. Um, if there was something I could not confirm, I would make a note of that in the book. I also believe that the people 
in the book, not just the ones that built hotels and um, created the town and other places um, in the area. You know, there are prominent people, very good businessmen, and um, and I also found very interesting that some of them had very strong lives that stood by their side, not behind them. Um, and back then, if the wife had an idea and she was intelligent and her husband supported her, he would have to do whatever it took to make her vision uh, come true because he, um, she wasn't really, really was not. <laughs> um, and I found some very interesting and strong characters, um, people, not characters. Um, in the book, there's also, there's like family trees and some information where I could find it. Some things I could not confirm, some dates, there were some things that just contradicted each other. One thing that I did find a lot of my information were reading, um, old obituaries and using the website find a grave um sometimes their information they had they, they didn't have all of it and i was able to provide that website with more information photographs or just um, family relations and of course you have to back up your proof and i was able to do that as well i read a lot of the books that were written back then um and I think that um, it was just a, people, they believed rumors, they, and some of these rumors became what people thought were truths. Um, so I was able to figure that part out. Um, and sadly, there are some men, um, some family members, um, some families that um, their bloodline is over. The last person in the family had passed away. And sometimes those people are forgotten. Um, I've read a lot of books and a lot of articles written by other, um, other authors about specific things and um, about Ballstown or specific people. And when I could, I contacted them and got some more information. I credit, um, I got a lot of information from uh, Ginny at the Brookside Museum. So shout out to Jen, Ginny. Um, and hopefully at some point, if they do an author event, they will say so they would invite me. So um, I hope that's true. And I also want to shout out to uh, Larry Phillips, who um, is basically the administrator of the, um, several Boston Spa uh, Facebook groups. Um, he gave me a lot of information. He let me use some of his photographs for the book. There are photographs, there's some paper clippings. Um, I found a lot of information about them. So um, it's going to be at the Roman Quay. It's the it's going to be a meet the author and book sign. If you have any books that I've written and you want them signed, bring them. Um, if you can uh, purchase your book prior to the event, and I say that because I will have about 20, I will have 20 copies of the Falls Town book on hand. So it would be first come, first serve. I will also have one hardcover special edition book. I'm not publishing them in hardcover anymore. They did for a little while. Um, and I might do it again, maybe next year in March. So uh, that book uh, will be for sale and will be signed. I'll have some you know, pens and um, bookmarks and business cards and also a card that will um, give you the QR code to go to my website, which has a lot of information that is not in the book. And it also um, features all of the books, no matter how old they were, in PDF, 
piece element that I was able to track down that were part of um, either they were about Serto County and Wilson's father about the Mineral Springs. There actually is a book and poem dedicated to the Mineral Springs and the poem I actually have from this book. And there are also books and brochures and newsletters and newspapers and um, tracks uh, that were uh, published by the Walson Journal Printing Press. Um, it had many names over the years, and we all know it became Walson Journal. And it has some of those books too, the first books, the first four that were ever printed in Walson's book. So I find that was quite interesting. If you love history as much as I do, and you like to learn about it, where you've come from, where your um, maybe your family members grew up here, um, maybe you live far away but you grew up here. Um, and my shout out to the Balsa Spa, seen in class of 1990, <laughs> when I graduated Balsa Spa. I've always, I was a newbie at age 13 when we moved to Balsa Spa, but my mother always felt that Balsa Spa was her home. And wherever we lived elsewhere, she was not happy until we actually moved to Boston Spring. And so I I feel the same way that she did. You know, even though I left and got married and had kids, I then divorced and whatever, I came back and I will always stay as long as possible in this area. So if you have any questions. You can come and ask me. They have a great selection of um, beer there. Um, there's, I think you can go to their website and check them out. You can go to their Facebook page, um, which will lead to their, their their website. You can see what kind of beers they have. I told Mike that I was, um, I would try his beer, but I was really a wine drinker. And he says, I have wine there too. So I'm very excited to try some of that. Anyway, this is my Amy Shannon, and I just want to thank everyone who supported me, and my son William, who kept kicking me in the butt, saying, "Mom, you got to do this," even when I was hesitant about doing an in-person event. Um, I'm not. You know, I don't do in-person things um, very often. Um, if I go out and go to the store across the street, it's just going to see they will let me, or I go to the doctor's office. So that's kind of like what I do. I'm in my own world, and I'm not afraid to show off my room. It's the first time since well, when we moved here, it was the first time I've had my own space in so so thank you again and don't forget pick up your copy this is my author copy it's hardcover but you will get a paperback and i hope to see you there and there will be, my son Robert will be taking photographs and probably some video. So those will be posted um, after the event. Um, so I hope to see you then. If you can't make it, you know, just let me know. And get my signature piece. Thank you.